Hi guys, welcome to Joe Joe Fitness with me, Joe, and today's legs a workout. So we're going to be concentrating on lower body, legs, butts, calves, you know, everything that makes up below the waist. If you do enjoy it, I ask, as always, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, please. And then hit that bell and let me know you've been watching. And then if you do want to get in touch, there's loads of ways to do that and they're all listed in the contents box below. So there's 25 exercises. We're doing them through one time and we're doing them for roughly 110, 115, 120 seconds with a little break in between for a little stretch. So it should take us up to about 40 minutes. So let's stop procrastinating. Let's really enjoy this workout. Have a fabulous day. Let's get going. So, timer at the ready. I'm just gonna pop this down. I haven't started it, which I usually do. I usually queue it up. So we're just gonna start our feet wider than hip width, and we're just gonna do a little hip shake. So we're working into the lower back. We're just starting to move the body. So um, just shaking it out, and just working, just bend the knees a little bit and think about hippy hippy shakes. As I said, 25 different exercises, so you're not going back around things. So I just wanted to make sure that we kind of incorporated the warm up into the work. And this is gonna progress in a moment, even though I have decided to put the pauses in there. We're gonna go, well, we will take this into a step touch afterwards. So um, it kind of led on, but obviously, we probably won't need the 20 seconds in between. We might just go straight into them. Oh, I don't know, it's gonna mess up my timer if I do that, isn't it? It's all gonna be beeping at the wrong times. All right, so just go a little bit quicker, just get things happening. A bit chilly here today. Hopefully gonna be a lovely, bright, sunny day. 10 seconds. So what we'll do actually is we will take a little bit of a stretch. So just pause it over to your right and just take a little stretch down towards the floor. Oh, loosen off that back. Lovely. And then coming up, take it over towards your left and roll down. That's nice. And then coming up centre and then come down without going side to side. We've got step touches coming up. So it's just a step touch. So it's similar to the hips, but we're actually starting to move a little bit more now. And you can just swing the arms, you could do an arm curl, you could do anything with the arms really. And you'll notice that I've not mentioned weights, okay? So there are some cardio exercises, there are some resistance exercises, and these are at intensity that you could use weights this morning. Lovely. So. Um, it's entirely up to you, is the answer to that. If you fancy it, if you've got them, you can kind of wander around your room now as you're doing your step touches, and you can gather your weights towards you. I'm gonna go red ones, I think, because I, uh, I thought they matched more, but they probably don't. And we're just gonna even just swing them out. Just always thinking about burning those extra few calories when we're doing anything. So when you're not actually in specific exercise, formal exercise, they're the neat calories, the non-exercise calories, and when you're in exercise, they're the eat calories. Okay, let that go. Again, we're just going to take a little bit hamstring stretch. We've got hamstring curls coming up. Side two. Nice, so you know you're just gonna curl the heel up to the bottom, and we're doing alternate sides, okay? So again, you could maybe do a bicep curl here, you could do a lat raise, you could do a pull down, push shoulder press, or you can just hold the weight, you're just moving more weight, letting it just be there. So when you move your body, I'm moving an extra three kilo this morning, which uh, is about the weight I've lost, <laughs> I must admit. So it's kind of like me moving my body last week. Curling the heel to the bottom, making sure you land on a bent leg, don't land down on a straight leg. Keep your body up nice and tall, abs on. 
shoulders over hips and really just kick behind as if somebody's pushed um, muck behind you and you're just kicking it away, slide it away. Last 20 seconds. We are going to go into a knee lift after this, um, but we're going to do sided knee lifts. I decided to do the sided knee lifts because knee lifts is a good one to activate into abs. So I thought, oh, if we do double up on this, we get a bit of extra ab work as well. Let that go. And you can just take a quick quad stretch. Oh, that felt really good. And then side two. Oh, nice. So we're gonna do a right side knee. I'm gonna just pop the weights down. So we're just gonna do a right side only on the knee lift. So right side only, lifting it up. And I've just got my hands at shoulder height, knee height, but you can, if you want to, don't go into a woodcutter because I believe we've got that later on, but just adding intensity finally can lose the woolly, is lifting the arms up. And of course, when you lift the arms up, you're stretching the abs even more. So you can go, and if it's getting too much, just go back to knee, get your breath back. So it's a bit intervally, and then you can start to maybe just do it touching the hands, and then, I've got to get it coordinated, make it that little bit bigger. So it's up to you. But remember, stand up tall. Don't lean into it because we're working the core as well. So we're looking just to raise our thermogenesis. Oh, I'm falling over. That's, I'm still falling over. Mm. Let that go. Didn't bring water today, so definitely don't have anything else. Just kind of let the heart rate come down. Oh, breathe. And then we're going to take it on side two. So side two, when you're ready, we've got the beats coming up. All right. So again, just the knee lift. Work through the knee. And then you can start to maybe incorporate a bigger arm. Ski squat coming up after this, so quite still, definitely one for the weights. See how you get on. About halfway at the minute, we're looking into that last half, second half. Last few seconds. Keep it going. So remember with the ski squat, setting up the feet facing forwards under the hips. Ready? Let it go. So just take that out. So setting up, grab your weights. Definitely a good one for using weights. You can load them onto the legs. And it's as if you're sitting back into a chair. So usually I do love a sumo squat. I'm sure they're in there somewhere. But ski squats today to begin with. So bum down and up. So you'll find you probably don't go as low. When you put your legs nice and wide, you can really drop down. Ski squats, that range is a bit lower because you get to a, a, a set point and then it's the body that drops. And we want to keep the body lifted. I really feel like as you go down, you're releasing your glutes and as you come up, squeeze them, feel them go hard and contracted, squeeze. So you get that little bit, maybe even of a pelvic tilt. I don't really need to be thrusting through and hurting your back, but feel like you're locking that pelvis underneath you with a nice little ass squeeze, okay? Now we're gonna do a, 
advancement on this. So you can do another set of these that just maybe heel toe the feet slightly wider. What we're gonna do is a pulsing ski squat with the arms overhead. I know, you're very welcome. Let the weights go. You can, of course, hold the weights for this one. It's up to you. So you'll be dropping into ski squat, you'll be raising the arms, drop the shoulders down, and you'll be pulsing out. So just make sure everything feels. If you need to take a lift and walk out of it, please do. Okay, down and pulse. Just keep it there as long as you can, just keep going. As I say, you can have weights in your hands, but 75 seconds is quite a long time to hold your arms in the air. Particularly if you're not massively strong in the arms or the shoulders. Or if like me, you had a bit of an arm workout yesterday and they're feeling a bit sore and tired today. So, well not sore, just tired. Just feel a bit energyless this morning. Okay, you've got 30 seconds more. Keep going if you can. Keep the movement, don't just hold. It's not isometric, it is a little pulse. Draw your belly in as well, hold your core. Really important. Alternate reverse lunge coming up after this. I want you to take them slow and steady. So last 10 seconds, guys. Oh, we need to shake off after this. Here we go, here they are. Beep, beep, beep. Let it go. Oh, feel that in the shoulders, in the arms. Okay, so again, I would grab the weights. You're gonna take a reverse lunge. So you're at the top of your mat, you're gonna be stepping back and forwards, okay? Just find it protects the knees a bit more. And I know we've all got little knee issues. Okay, so step back and forwards. And you see how slow it is? I'm really working on my form. So I'm keeping my body up nice and tall. I'm making sure my knee doesn't go further forwards than my ankle. And I'm looking to bend my back knee towards the ground and I just find maybe it's just me that with so many things to kind of run through and check that are happening correctly I need to do it slowly works out quite perfect. Give those legs a shake. So we're going to be taking a wide stepping squat side to side but what I'd like you to do is touch down pull up touch down pull up. So you will be leaning forwards but as you come up abs on tummy on. So start the feet together stop it stepping to your right touch lift. Now the touch down is purely optional. Remember you can just go Side to side like this, keep the body up. The weights, purely optional. Do you want to do them? Do you not? Okay, just remember when you touch down, it's from a squat position, not a lunge. So don't lean side on. So we're, not, we're going straight through the middle and down and up. Don't lean like this, okay? Although that is nice and it feels good. And if you're doing it consistently, consistently then carry on, I suppose. But it is a squat down and up. So step wide, down, up, and together. The lean one can just put the knees at more risk, although it would make the back feel better, I guess. That trade off. So we're just touching down, <sighs> touching down. One more each side. If you're not 
even, do one more. Lovely, I am gonna drop the weights down because we're gonna do this as kind of a cardio. This is my right leg. We're gonna do repeater little lunges like touch backs. Keep them tight, but really try and touch that leg back long so I can't get my heel down. So long, just keep them moving. Because we have got pushbacks later on and if you do pushbacks now, you can have two sets, I guess, that's all. Oh, supporting leg, screaming. Stay on that supported leg, really feeling it. Oh. Stay low on that supporting leg, touch back as far as you can. Repeat a lunge. Oh. Keep going. Dig in. Last few seconds. Oh. Where's the beaks when you need them? Still not there. Come on. Ten, nine, eight. Here they are. Oh, take a shake. You're just going to turn around and do that on side two. I'm hoping that's going to feel a bit easier. Oh, so the leg that was static is now going to move. I've turned around so my working leg is towards you. You don't have to to do that. You don't have to turn. Ready? Low on that leg. Push. That's it. Good work. So hopefully you're getting a bit breathy in this one. This one should be a bit more cardiovascular. Heart rate coming up. Breathing rate coming up. Because it's a continuous movement. So just blending the two types of training. People quite often ask me which is best. Um, I then ask best for what. Um, if you're looking for weight loss and fat burn, resistance training and cardio training equal. Um, neither one any better than the other. Definitely good to do a mixture of both. If you are looking to build tone and strength and muscle, then you need to be oh, doing resistance training. And you can do that with your body weight or you can do it with additional weight. Well done. Maybe just take a quick stretch. Oh. So we're gonna do like a da 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 da. So it's like twist the body, little step round. I really wish I'd have remembered my water this morning. I even got it ready put it in the bottle, put it on my desk, and it is still there. Not doing any one any good, never mind. A little twist of the body, so again, working into that waist. I did say lower body and legs today, of course. It'd be pretty impossible to just isolate the legs. You certainly could if you were in a different setting. But for us to be moving, to be raising our tempo, or raising our energy, it's nice, you don't have to do this. You could just do it with no arms. You could do it slower. You know, there's loads of ways that we can manipulate stuff. And it'll just slightly change the emphasis. My emphasis is, if I'm moving, I'm gonna be burning a few calories. I'm gonna be raising my tempo. Not my metabolism, because your metabolism is set. The only things that are change in metabolism is things like hormones. Just take a breath. Okay, we're gonna do side two, three, knee. The knee is on the inside. Step 
two, three, knee, two, three, knee, okay? So it's a lateral movement with a knee lift. Start here, going towards the left, lift the right knee, going towards the right, lift the left knee. And then you can go a bit quicker and take it up. One, two, three, one, two, three. So again, looking to raise that temperature. So yeah, metabolism, you can't kickstart it. It's not a motorbike. I do hear that quite a lot. You can't do it, okay? Um, and if you ever heard of intermittent fasting, you'll know that having something first thing to get your metabolism going is BS. Because if that was the case, why would we have intermittent fasting, which meant that we didn't eat until lunchtime? So metabolism, determined by hormones and age. As you get older, it tends to slow down. But if you keep moving, if you keep going, you can maintain it. Obviously, if you're menopausal, premenopausal, you would need to look at things like HRT because that would help you keep it going. But if your metabolism is slowing down through age hormones, then you need to just move more and eat less. Okay, there's nothing you can do to kickstart it. Let that go. So, just taking a couple of breaths here. We've got a frog jump forwards and backwards. So here, one forwards, one back. Um, I'm just gonna separate my mats. You can walk and walk, okay? If that is so, your knees don't get smashed. Okay, if you can't jump, then take it as like a step forwards wide, step back wide. Step forwards wide, and then when you've done five on one leg, do five on the other. So you are leading with a different leg. So forwards, back. Forwards, back. Ooh, I fell off that one. Forwards, back. You'll find that jumping, oh, you get really tired really quickly. So if you do, take some walks, maybe do a few more jumps, so mix it up, yeah? A bit like adding raisins into your porridge. Just changes it, still good. Maybe makes it a bit more desirable. Ten seconds, guys. If you're thinking about giving up, push through. Oh, take a stretch, release off. Okay. Sumo squats. I knew they'd be in there somewhere. They are my favourite. Okay, wide legs. Body up tall, abs on strong. Drop your ass down and up. Down and up. I can hear the blood pumping in my ears. I can hear it thudding. I can feel my breath just from jumping for one minute, 15 seconds. That's so good. So nice, long, deep breaths here. A bit like a hit where you get high intensity, follow it by low intensity, high intensity, low intensity. It just keeps our body guessing. And when it keeps guessing, it's always fighting to catch up with you and when it fights to catch up it burns a few extra calories so it's always a good thing i even put a towel out to wipe because i knew i was going to sweat in this one and guess where my towel is my towel is next to my water bottle so i've been doing this for nearly 30 years you think i would know what i'm doing right now but Still have my car, still have my timer. All right, let that go. We're gonna do a similar one. You're gonna take it down low and then you're just gonna walk side to side, okay? Step walk. So I'm just gonna, no, I was gonna go run and get my towel, but I've got towels in here, doesn't matter. Okay, drop low and then walk, 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 walk. Stay low, body stays up, 
you're in that so you can walk one two three tap one two three tap or you can just do like a step touch i don't care you can walk around the room as long as you don't come up your legs do not straighten you're staying down if you've got dodgy knees just stay a little bit taller but keep the legs bent if you've got a bit more movement in your knees you can go a bit lower so just mix it up just keep moving because we will do a wall sit later on which you know you don't get to move in that so enjoy this movement now I mean you can do all sorts of things here as long as you stay in wall I don't mind Just keep it moving, keep low, and feel it in those quads. So I guess if you are ever skied, you kind of ski like this on these bent legs. Lovely, shake them out. Maybe again, taking a bit of a stretch. Oh, back and hamstrings and glutes, maybe quads. So we're gonna do a curtsy, if everybody's all right with that. You're gonna do it right and left. So what that means is, you're gonna take one leg behind. Oh, <laughs> hello, Jackie. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. Oh, curtsy behind. So really dropping into that front leg, curtsying behind, like real, royal, real people that we are. <sighs> I love it that all the pets come to class. Of course, not my dog, he's a bit antisocial. <laughs> I know that he will be nesting in the warmest spot in the house when I get in there. <sighs> oh. Sink low, ladies. <sighs> well done. Get low. So you're working the inner thighs here as well. Adductors, keep the body up as high as you can. I am totally leaning on my front leg. I am feeling this. Sweat city. 10 seconds to go. These intervals are a bit hard too, you know. We're usually doing 45 seconds. Today we're doing 75 seconds of work. You notice it? Oh, okay. Right, we have got a heels in front coming up. So just take a moment, I'm just gonna wipe my face. Without flashing you guys. So heels in front. Again, this one's one maybe where you grab the weights and you can swing those arms. Heels in front. So we're looking for a bit of cardio. Because of my elbow, I'm just gonna, weights just pull on it. So get your speed up. You need to be moving quick. Heels in front. And again, you can take this for a walk. Or you can do it on the spot. This is the sort of exercise you should be doing when you're waiting for the kettle to boil. When you stood outside the bathroom, waiting for what appears to be hundreds of family members to come out before you. We only have one bathroom. And for four adults, it's not enough. So there's always a queue. So these are the kinds of things you can be doing. You know I talked about NEAT, those non-formal exercise calories that we burn. So don't sit on the sofa watching telly waiting. Walk up and down the stairs if you've got them while you're waiting for the bathroom. Or do something like this. You can do squats while you're washing up. Does anybody wash up anymore? I know some of you do. We uh, don't anymore. We bought a dishwasher and that was it, we're lazy. All right, let that go. We're going to do side touches. Notice how my body is to the front and I'm working in and out of thighs. I'm going to be side touching. Again, you can hold on to those weights if you feel you can. Whew. Okay, so side touch. And again, get them going on a little bit quicker. A little bit of a cardio push here. So touching. And again, see how much room we're using very little. So if you're on a phone call from work, put your headset on, stand up, you can do these, you don't have to do them at this speed, you, but you could do them like this, you're burning more calories rather than sitting down. Nobody's going to know, you're not going to be getting puffy, they might not be enjoying 
that, if you're getting a bit out of breath, but stand up. I know one of my ladies who comes to class, she got rid of her sit down desk, she bought a stand up desk and she stands up all day long, keeps herself moving. Little things, little tricks. Nice work, keep going, keep going. Touch, 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 touch. Woo. So working in and out of thighs here, giving them a little bit of a wake up call. We've got the last few seconds. And then we're gonna go into those pushbacks. Shake it out. So here, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So you're pushing back. So just taking a little back stretch. I'm feeling it in the back today. After paddle boarding yesterday, um, not been out for about three months, um, and everything's just saying hello to me this morning. Push, push, push. But I was saying yesterday, this elbow injury that I've had for months now, five months, did not bother me at all when I was out on the board. And yet, as soon as I got off, as soon as I started doing normal things, it flared up again. So I'm like, hmm. I'm wondering if it's more in my mind than in my body. Oh, maybe I just need to spend my life on the water. So touchbacks, pushbacks. It's weird. Very strange. But you know, take the wins and just still modifying, still being kind to it. Pushbacks, come on. Last 10 seconds. Whew. Okay, what I want you to do, I have got here a band. We're not using bands, I'm just gonna lie it down. If you've got a stripe in your carpet or a grout line or floor, you're gonna stand, I'm standing to the right of it. We're gonna be so, I want you to step over something, but not something you're gonna trip over like a weight. It's going to make you fall. Just laying something down. Take a sock off. So we're just sidestepping. And you can lift the knee. So if you're skating or you can step or you can jump. Okay? Just depends how you're feeling. Maybe you do a bit of all of them. If you've got a mat, stepping on and off the mat across the side. The purpose of the barrier is to trick the mind because if you don't have one, you might just stand there like this, okay? So it's to kind of clear it, which means you'll get that extra movement in. <sighs> We're in set 21 of 25, so there's not much to do now. We're nearly at the end. And set 21 is in its last 10 seconds. So this one's nearly done. Single leg squat on the right side coming up. Well done. So you can get rid of your barrier. So single leg squat. So I'm gonna put my left leg either on top of my right one, like this, or you can just hang it behind. And you're gonna just think about one leg only. If you need to hold on, Hold on, we're not doing a balance, we're doing a single leg squat. So whatever you need to do, if you need to hold on, you hold on. If you're balancing and wobbling all over the place, you're not gonna be getting the work. So we can work on balance separately. I can see Boris now, we've got another dog in the room, people. Hi, Boris. <laughs> Just realising that all of us have got boys, haven't we? Everyone's a boy. No girl dogs. No girl cats. Oh, 
boys. Oh. Now you'd expect to go straight onto side two, that's not the case. So don't think you can switch off and go as soon as you've done the next one because there's a little bit of a gap in between, just because these are killers. And I just thought it would be nice because we're now kind of cooling down. We're into those last three minutes or so. Okay, nice, one more. Calf raises, again, if you need to hold on because your balance is a bit off, hold on. Calf raises, I've gone feet shoulder width apart, just um, because that's gonna be more stable and take a little bit of less pressure off the back. If you wanna go a bit more unstable, feet together as if obviously you're making, this is like a two footed stance when the feet are together, one footed. I'm just uh, gonna do some back releases later on. Feeling it here, which is probably from yesterday, standing up for a few hours on a wibbly wobbly board on wibbly wobbly water. Um, so it just works beautifully into all of these stabilizing muscles. But when you haven't done it for a while, you can just feel that tension creep up. So it's just about uh, taking care of oneself, noticing these things. Working through them. Looking like it's gonna be a lovely day here again. So try and get outside. Try and turn your face towards the sun. Smell the fresh air. Breathe it in. Take a bit of exercise. I mean, you have done this, but you know, a bit more maybe in the, in the outdoors. Eat something nice and healthy. Drink plenty of water. Okay, we've got single leg on side two. We'll put that in. And then the last thing before we're done, which I know you know what it is because I mentioned it already and you've not had it. So not a surprise. So we're going on side two. So that's left leg down and up. Really again, Squeeze into the bottom as you come up. Feel that muscle working. Really work into it. So a lot of back issues originate from weak glutes. So really thinking about squeezing into the bum, strengthening your glutes, even if it means that you do one rep to every 10 of mine. If you're doing one good one and it's working deep into the muscle fibers, it's better than if you're just repping out through the hip joint. Oh, struggling to keep my leg up there, so I'm just going to let it hang. Although when you do keep the leg up there, it does give you a lovely butt stretch. Twenty seconds, and then we've got one more to go. Breathe. Nice, let it go. Okay, so just circle through. We've got wall sits, you knew that because I told you late earlier on that we were doing them later in the class. And as we haven't done them, a little hippie shake. When you're ready, back yourself up to a chair, a wall, countertop, and sit down. I've got my feet facing forwards, I've got my knees over my ankles, I've got my back pressed into the wall, Got my chest lifted and I'm just breathing. Hold on through the core, draw your navel in towards your spine. Squeeze here, squeeze your glutes and breathe. Okay, so if you just kind of drop into it and you let the muscles release, you're going to find that they're going to ache. You need to contract them, you need to draw them on, you need to feel all powerful, and you need to remember this is the last thing. Okay, and you're already over halfway. You've already just got a real small amount of minutes. Minutes? No, seconds, I promise you. to go. <laughs> Panic! No, just seconds, okay? And while you're procrastinating and you're thinking about it and you're moaning and you're complaining and you're like, ah, 
more seconds are gone. And we're now down to 10 seconds. So here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, we are done. All right, take a stretch. We've got a couple of minutes just to stretch out. So reaching forwards, just releasing off that back, let the head hang down. I'm just gonna swing my hips from side to side in this position, just to loosen and limber, and then I'm gonna hold. That feels nice. Bend your knees and roll up. Uh, we'll take a lateral flexion to the right. And release, and we'll take a lateral flexion to the left. Lovely. Let's just stretch out through those legs. So quad stretch. Again, stretching is not balancing, so if you need to hold on, hold on, because standing on one leg here is about balance. But we want it to be about stretch. So you don't need to fight with it to get the stretch. All right? Kick it out in front and reach towards those toes. Feels good. All right, let's do that other side and then we can wrap this up. So two, E. And kick forwards, reach for the toes. Still got a little bit of time, so we'll just take a quick calf stretch and maybe release off the upper back. And then change sides and release off the chest, giving the arms a bit of a pull as well. Super nice. Good work. Take it in, take a breath in, and out. Step it together, give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day.